Shalom, shalom, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Kodash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great pilsome who teaching his word in truth and sincerity, and for ruling well and salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying and believing in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, this is the brother Gabor Yahweh Duff from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson real quick. And um, it's one of the videos that you see in front of you, okay, um, you see the apostles and the elders and the brothers <clears throat> were in um, Harlem yesterday preaching. We know that Harlem historically is a so is an area where so-called Negroes like, and Latinos predominantly stay, you know, and now there's being, uh, you know, positioned for Edomites to move in there and live in there, but it's still like... The vast majority of people that, you know, live and operate in this area are Jakes, man, Israelites, you know, and um, as the apostles and the elders were, the apostles and the elders and the brothers on down were there preaching and bringing out the word, you know, you see this uh, so-called pastor dressed in Catholic wear because Christianity is all forms of Christianity are nothing more than babies of the Catholic church. Okay, but when I was watching this video, and this is a short video, I'm going to play it in a second. As I was watching this video, you know, you you see the real pastors of the, of the Heavenly Father versus the fake. And who are the fake pastors, the fake leaders of, it, uh, of, of, uh, um, of our people? You see on the right, this guy right here dressed in black, the so-called Christian pastor. He might have went to the doctors of divinity. He, you know, he got he got him a doctor's in divinity. He probably went to some theologian school, you know. No beard on his face, you know what I'm saying? He's a uh, 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 um, clean shaven on a. It looks like he's clean shaven on the head as well as the face, man. But he and he's walking around with a Bible, the biggest Bible he can find. But he ain't really got the truth, man. And another thing, he ain't got the time. Meanwhile, you see the bishop. Slocky, you see the Apostle Elder, uh, Ramlob, Apostle Elder, or Apostle Elder Tahar, Apostle Elder Gabar, Apostle Elder Ramlob, standing out there giving you the truth, man. You know, dressed in our ancient garments, you know, prophesying and preaching in sackcloth, you know. And they had all the time in the world giving you the truth, man. You know, so let me play this real quick. Yeah, because of, that dude is a Jake. And he's giving that man, he's uh, an apostle, is giving that man some extremely important advice, man. Not to take the chip, the MOTV. Okay? And he that guy, he's He's, this man, he clearly is in a rush or something, man. You know? When he should just st stay where he at. But see, these Christians in the world, they're so proud. They ain't got the time. You know, they don't want to lose their worldly position. That's why, just like uh, somebody that's just disobedient, they don't want to come under subjection of the true rule. Um, That's how these Christians are, man. So real quick, this is... Uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, first and foremost, are doing. They're leading you with us, not just you, all of us, with what knowledge and understanding. Knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's word. And that's why I clearly like when I as I looked at as I looked at this uh video, this clip, I noticed several things. You know, yeah, I noticed several things looking at this quick clip. One, you got the apostles out there 
and the elders and the brothers out there preaching, and they're 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 bright as day, you know what I'm saying? They got the end of cross. I didn't even see all of this. But see, as you go through the clip, you got the nigga woman, big <laughs> biggest day with the biggest Diana Ross wig that she could find, you know. I ain't even know there's a nigga on my head, bro. It's lucky. Let me rewind it real quick. Oh. Yeah, this is right one on the road. So, uh, well, I noticed that the apostles, the spirit of the Lord is dwelling on them because they're bright, they're, they're energized, you know, they're filled with the truth. And then you got this guy here, he's supposed to be some type of pastor. This man is dark, man. First of all, he's dressed in all that black, which is a witch's garment, you know. And he don't have the truth. You know, an apostle told the apostle to heart told him, Hey, look, he said, he asked the man, What's the MOTB? And he couldn't tell you. Here it is, something as important as not taking the MOTB, something as important that can affect your salvation. You know what I'm saying? You, you would think that these so-called pastors and priests of these so-called churches in the world would know and would inform you not to do such a thing. But because they're set up by the government, they're set up by, they're sponsored by the government, they're not going to tell you the truth, man. They're, they're forbidden from telling you the truth. That's why the chief head of the so-called Christian church, the so-called pope, he pushes people to take it. He actually said it. He actually said that. Matter of fact, Salaki. Yeah, like, so the Pope, he supports that. And other things that the society pushes, right? So the apostles and the elders, chiefly the apostle Tahar, he was telling his man, look, man, don't take it and you'll be safe. And that's the short answer. You know, that's the short answer. But it's a it's a it's a heavy answer, you know, because Jake don't seem to have time for this word or this truth, all right. But yet the apostles and the elders on down, they're out here giving this man the truth, man, you know. And that's why you got to be quick with Jake. That's why you got to be quick, and and that time's short because they don't got time. But then they quick to say that oh y'all don't go to the ghetto, y'all don't go to the downtrodden, but. We're there. And as you saw, the vast majority of the people walking by had no time for this word, but yet the apostles gave it to them. And that's what shows you that the apostle elders on down and the brothers on down, the men whom we learned this truth from, they are the voice of the most high. We are, and they allow, they're teaching us to become the voice as well and giving you the truth, man. And they're feeding you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Unlike these pastors in the world, man. You know, they're not giving you understanding. They're just set on these high offices that people so-called respect. He got the uniform of somebody that you think is a, a, a godly man. You know, he'll, this dude probably going to go get somebody their last rites on death row or something. Or that's on a sick bed. So-called last rites. You know, but this man is not a purveyor of life and of truth and of understanding. You know, so I just, I just, that was my quick observation, man. This is why the apostles and the elders starting on great, of Great Millstone are the uh, pastors set at the Mimosa Ice Heart. That's what I'm saying. Shalom. On to the next.